All right, all right, all right. This is where we left off with our previous. I think this is in a pretty good state to call it done for previous in some studios and in some occasions, um, especially when this transi transitions to layout, they would also, uh, I mean, they, we would also do some lighting on this just so we get it in a better spot, but we will come to that very soon. So let me just uh, work on this a bit more and try to get it in, into an even better state and add some additional controls to, to our legs so they, they close in and they close out when the ship you know, gets closer. And then when they land, they actually have some suspension. So let me do all of that. All right, so here we go. This is a bit of a polished animation. Let me just play it again. As you can see, I added the rotation of the landing gear. I added some more additional stuff on top. And then when the ship lands, the gear goes in place again, just give, giving it an illusion of landing. Now, the way I did it here was very rough and this would be uh, kind of appropriate for layout before this goes to animation and then an animator would take it over. Uh, he would look at the things you did and essentially do it again. I don't, in most cases, he, they wouldn't take any data that you as a layout artist did. Uh, maybe in some cases, but in most cases, they would just look at your preview as a reference and then they would reanimate everything. So what I was doing here is I was grouping the landing gear into sections just to create a very, very simple rig. This is the simplest thing you can do, just groups. And then I was creating pivot points and oops. Okay, I can do this. I was creating pivot points and just animating it like this. You can see this is very dirty. Uh, it doesn't actually you, it doesn't use any pistons or anything like that. You will see when Friddle will be animating the ship, uh, he will be adding uh, rigs to the ship on specific uh, pistons and things to rotate around, and that will actually create a proper rotation. For this purpose, this is enough. So I did that on all three legs. You can see them here. It's important to do this before the ship is animated. Otherwise, your pieces would be flying all over the place. Then I did the animation. I cleaned it up just a tiny bit, nothing special. I, I just added a bit more power to when it actually, uh, when the explosion happens. So then I did a noise on the fly-in. So you can see now it actually has energy. See when it flies in, the ship is actually shaking as if it's having a hard time to to stop you see how it's shaking like that and then it kind of stops we have a moment of of uh, a moment of calm a moment of peace and then it explodes but i wasn't happy with my animated blast so what i do is i add another noise and maybe this noise can be a bit more chaotic so this is where i would animate my noise let's try a different period and change the seed just to see. So this would add an additional kick. Maybe it's a bit too much right now. Let me check where this, ah, I see where the problem is. Our pivot. Oops. I'm just adding an expression here. Don't worry about it. So this will and I'm assuming, yeah, this one needs it. Well, this one was looking fine. So uh, the pivot, the rotation needs to be happening and the noise needs to be happening in the center. Yeah, so now it feels a bit more. So let's start this a bit sooner. I can do this. A bit too soon. Okay, let's go a bit higher. 
So now you can see it actually, and I think we need to go, uh, not harmonics, but just a bit less frequency. A bit more. Yep. So you see now we actually have a very um, aggressive blast happening. So that's what I did to animate the ship. So this would be good enough for layout before we actually get something from our animator. I didn't do a lot to the camera at all. Uh, let me show you quickly how this looked like in this scene with everything final. All right, so I found my previous animation right here. Uh, the camera is going to be a bit different because I already adjusted it to the final animation. But let, let me do, uh, let's do a quick uh, flipbook and I'll be back. All right, here we go. So the flipbook is kind of finished. Uh, the ship is a bit rotated in the wrong way, but you can see all the same things that I was doing. I was adding shake when it was entering kind of the atmosphere, the landing gear is opening, adding bla the blast when the explosion happens and then it goes left and right and then it lands and the landing gear uh, goes and collapses. So it has some suspension. So that was the final layout animation that I did before. Uh, like I said, we got the final final animation, which is here. And this one has even more finesse and everything. And Friddle is going to be showing you how to do everything like uh, an animation like that in Maya. You can see even even the little gear here. It has, you, you can see the leg kind of reaches out, extends, and then it lands on the ground. And this has some inertia and secondary movement. Uh, the door, not the door, but the, the back exhaust when the explosion happens opens up as well and then the, the ship shakes so all of these details are quite important but that's for the final animation all right let's continue with our layout i think the next step would be to finish well to add our proper rocks in and the background mountains so the background mountains you can do this in a couple of different ways i will show you a quick way right now and then i will import a pre-made model so height, height field we get a height field like this and then you would put a height field noise and you would pretty much get a mountain like that and you could use this this is it this would pretty much work and if you want you could extend this to this degree Maybe make it even a bit bigger. We can do, we can create a box here by object. Just gonna do a mask, something like this, just so we straighten that out. Something like that. So you get this, and now we're gonna transform it, our height field into our geometry. And let's put a transform down here. And again, this is just for illustration purposes. And let's see how this would look here. And now we can remove this and we have a better mountainscape. I think it's a bit too big. So let's bring it down even more, put it back, rotate it like this it back in position so there you go that's how you create the mountains i would probably extend this ground even more this so it's almost touching actually it can be touching if you want and you can do it like this and there you go that's how you would do the background so that's the mountain that was used for this looked like that and obviously you would have to finesse it again to bring it into place for the rocks, what I did for the rocks is I actually I download them from uh, Quixel Mega Scans. This is an amazing library. They have all sorts of rocks. Uh, I honestly I, I wasn't able to decide <laughs> which one to get. Uh, and uh, for all the materials that I will be using later for the texturing and doing the look dev, uh, were also from Mega Scans. So a big shout out to Quixel Mega Scans. They're pretty amazing. So let's see these are all rocks 
down. So they have a couple of different lots. I'm just going to use the most detailed one. So there you go. There's our rock. We do transform, scale it down like so. This is a pretty decent size like that. Maybe rotate it, see where our ship lands. And then you would start dressing up your scene. And then I would continue to do the same for all the other rocks until you come to a place like this. So you have the rocks placed, a bunch of different ones placed on the ground. We have the same background uh, as we do in our working scene. And you would just adjust them to taste. So in the end, you get a nice composition uh, and kind of it captures the ship even better. You can see we have something here, here and here, and that would just capture our perspective of the ship even even better so uh, it just helps to guide our eye uh, in the scene and here are the rocks you can see here and they're just grouped together and that's pretty much it for the ground i didn't do anything special here it's still just a mountain uh, with a uv and then i was using i was blasting out just a visible area just so it's a bit more optimized when you're doing displacement. Uh, it doesn't have to display, displace the whole patch. All right, so that's pretty much it in terms of layout. We have our ship animation. We have our camera animated. We uh, populated everything. And in this case, the layout would be done. The next section would be look dev. Uh, well, in between, uh, we're gonna do a little animation breakdown where Friddle is gonna show you how to animate the ship. And then we're gonna go back and do lighting and look dev onto our scene, applying textures, applying materials, uh, starting to do some rendering before we hop into compositing. Oh, actually, <laughs> I completely forgot the effects. So yes, we're gonna be doing effects as well. So see you guys in the next video.